So Google hires Bill Nye the Science Guy to make a commercial to convince us to switch from a Windows laptop to a Chromebook. We're gonna talk about that in this video. Hey, I'm Bruce Nail, your Boomer Consumer. Thanks so much for watching my video. This is not really a rant, mate. Maybe it is a bit of a rant. Now, first off, I have, you know, a lot of, I enjoy watching Bill Nye and his science stuff, and it's all pretty interesting. He's a mechanical engineer by trade. But the idea that somehow a Google Chromebook is a much better alternative to a Windows laptop is truly, in my opinion, laughable, except under certain circumstances. For example, the education market, etc. Happen to have a Google Chromebook, right? Well, not Google, it's a Lenovo Chromebook right here, the C330, nice little machine. These are great in the educational market. They're great for people who don't have very demanding needs on a computer. They want to watch Netflix, or they're perfectly happy with doing everything basically in the cloud, yes. It, can run some Android applications, but it's not going to run your AAA game titles. It's not going to run your video editors. It's not going to run, you know, Photoshop. And you don't have the platform there to run many, many popular applications. Now, Nye goes on to talk about fear, and and people uh, are kind of feared on the un unknown, and there's no reason to be with a Chromebook because they start up fast. They patch and update seamlessly. Um, you don't have to worry about viruses, malware, trojans, etc., like you would a Windows PC. Well, that being said, most Chromebooks that uh, that are out there are in that three to four hundred dollar range, somewhere around there. Of course, there's more expensive and maybe cheaper ones out there. And when you compare, when you go dollar for dollar, when you start looking at that three to four hundred dollar range for a Windows PC, yes, they're going to be a bit slower. Uh, many of them have a traditional mechanical hard drive. Uh, however, you're also talking about the versatility. What he's not talking about is the versatility of a Windows PC over a Chromebook and all the applications that you might enjoy and so forth. He talks about uh, what he calls a sunk cost, uh, I've got right here, sunk cost fallacy. That is a fallacy, right? Now, this is the opera word. It's a fallacy because... Uh, all the, um, I spent all this money on software. I don't want to make the switch because I don't want to lose my investment in this software. <clears throat> well, we buy software typically to accomplish some type of task. Now, if a Chromebook can't run those applications, it's not a fallacy. That money is gone that you spent on that software. And very doubtful many of these applications are going to work out well in the cloud. Personally, I've not found a whole lot of... Uh, video editors or even photo editors that work in the cloud that aren't completely lame in my opinion and lacking in so many features of course you have to be connected to the internet and i don't know it just doesn't seem to be too practical to me another thing he names is the status quo bias in other words it's people resist change because hey things are working the way they are why should i make the change well Familiarity can make you more productive. Muscle memory, how to use these Windows applications rather than try to learn stuff all over again. Again, I maybe, but I'm going to say probably not. It's, it's, I just don't think that's what's holding people back from switching from Windows to a Chromebook. Not so much the status quo. It's familiar for many people. They know how to do the things that they want to accomplish. And they know that there's a whole variety of application software out there for Windows simply not available for the Chromebook. Then he goes on to talk about the constant patches and updates to Windows. Okay, you got me there. <laughs> Absolutely, there's always patches, updates, and so forth. And that's been the one of the bane of Windows for many, many years. And I don't see it uh, getting any better any sooner. So, yeah, you got us on that one, Bill. That's a good point. And to reiterate, the slow boot times of a Windows laptop versus a Chromebook is true. Push a button on a Chromebook, and you're right there within a few seconds. Windows can take a long time to boot, especially on a 5,400 RPM hard drive. Would you not agree? It's a massive operating system compared to the relatively light footprint of Chrome OS. And I think towards the end of the commercial, he sums up best, hey, it's good for watching Netflix. Well, so is your phone, so is your tablet, so is it on your Roku player, your Apple TV, your Amazon Fire TV. So what? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, 
What? <laughs> That's a selling point to watch Netflix on a Chromebook? So I have no problem with Chromebooks whatsoever. I think they're great. They're doing well in the educational market. Almost 50% of the K through 12. However, when you get into the real world of adulthood, the market share for Chromebooks drops down dramatically. I don't know. I, I, I tried researching it. I've seen figures anywhere between one and a half to six percent, but uh, let's just split the difference and call it three percent. It's not a major market share. Will it increase with time? Perhaps I think it will get better and better as time goes on, but we're talking about today in the here and now. Again, long-time Windows users have the tools that they need, the software. They've made those purchases. They've made the investment. They've learned the operating system. They're generally happy with the product. So try using fear, uncertainty, and doubt to switch to a Chromebook or even consider a Chromebook is asking a heck of a lot out of somebody that I just think is not realistic. We trust the platform that we use day in and day out. We understand how it works and how it behaves. And to interrupt somebody's computing life to make a switch for no tangible real benefit because last time I checked, Windows can run Chrome just fine. And you can do Gmail and Google Docs and Calendar and all in your web browser, all running on your Windows PC. Might as well forget gaming for the most part, just not happening on a Chrome. It's just not happening on a Chromebook. I'm upset on that point. And a whole lot of us just don't trust the cloud for everything. We don't want to store and keep all of our information in the cloud. We want to keep it local. We want backups on hard drives, etc. Our NAS, what have you. We don't want everything in the cloud. I don't. Cloud-based applications, a lot of them are pretty lame, especially when it comes to creative stuff like photo editing photos, Video, I'm, I'm not sure I even attempted to edit any kind of video in the cloud. I just can't see that being practical at all. And of course, inevitably, people, when I did the review of this Chromebook, people ask, hey, can I edit video on it? Probably not realistically, no. <laughs> Maybe on a website type of thing, but you're not going to put Premiere on there. You're not going to put Final Cut on You're going to put DaVinci Resolve on it. They just don't make that. It doesn't run those things. Ultimately, Chromebooks are wonderful for certain market segments. K through 12, absolutely. I mean, especially when you got hundreds of, or maybe thousands of these things under management. You know, kids break stuff, lose stuff all the time. So yeah, ab absolutely for that. Uh, for people with simple computing needs, they, they do want to watch Netflix. <laughs> well, you can do that on your Chromebook. You can do your web, you know, your email, you can do your calendar, you can do Facebooking, all this kind of stuff. Uh, you can do that uh, with a Chromebook. If your needs don't exceed much more than that, then maybe a Chromebook is definitely worth considering, especially if you got somebody that's maybe not too tech savvy and they don't really care uh, to have, you know, AAA titles. They don't want it, you know, the Photoshops and they don't want the more heavy duty full applications that you uh, might require, uh, fine. Then a Chromebook's gonna be great for that market. And maybe, and I'm sure it's gonna continue to get better and Google will invest more money into it and it'll probably change and evolve over time. But as, of the, as, as it is now, Bill and I, you're just barking up the wrong tree here. I don't, I don't think your ad is gonna be effective. I think most people will just blow it off. But that's my opinion, and I'd like to hear yours in the comments down below. Bruce Taylor, The Boomer Consumer. Until the next one, everybody.